this is the element we devote ourselves specifically to the gnomes that have settled on the island of thieves. The word gnome comes from the word geonomos, which means earth dweller. The gnomes in this installment no longer inhabit holes in the earth, but mines that have been comfortably fitted out and downright luxuriously furnished with all kinds of spoils and stolen goods. Every gnome that reaches a certain age is sent by their shaman on their own great journey. The goal of this journey is to find an object, Kyori Kulki. The gnomes have a horror of leaving their homeland. Yet, because the oracle is more important for a gnome than anything else, they overcome their natural fear of enemies and danger. This gnome bravely leaves the tribe finally after hours of contemplation. By the way, the oracle key serves the gnomes as a burial gift for when they die, ensuring that they don't have to stand before their maker with empty hands on the Day of Reckoning. What a funny little chaps. The gnome eaters are deadly. These are gigantic monsters, against whom even several gnomes working together don't have the slightest chance in battle. And so the little mites often appear before their maker sooner than they would have liked to. Of all the gnomes who have successfully returned from the long journey, none has ever left the Isle of Thieves a second time.